it starts with coffee. Always coffee. Nothing in my world can really get started unless I have a good cup of joe. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I do on a Sunday to get ready for the week ahead. My little guy was sick this weekend, so I wasn't able to go to church. So I like to start a pot of coffee, and I also like to pour myself a big glass of water to get myself hydrated. And then I throw in a load of laundry. It is cheaper for us to do laundry on the weekends, so uh, this is when I usually get caught up on all of the loads that I hadn't uh, done during the week. So as you can see, I've got some in the dryer and some in the washing machine, and off we go. I put my laundry in these bags and I take it right to the living room to fold later in the evening. On this particular day, I wanted to make sure that everything was stocked and ready to go for the week ahead. And so my husband loves to drink these sparkling waters, so I'm just filling up the bin and getting them all set up for him during the week. He had also went to Costco this particular day, so here I am just unloading all of the um, cereal bars and getting them put away, and I will be putting away a bunch of other things that he picked up at Costco as well. So when I'm really on my game, I love to bake my family goods for the week. And so today I was making a banana cake recipe from Trim Healthy Mama. And part of it, you had to grind oats to make some flour. And I just love this process. I think it looks so funny just grinding it up here in my magic bullet. I really like to try and have all of our fruits and vegetables prepared for the week ahead. Even though I'm a stay-at-home mom, I will find myself not eating as healthy as I should if the fruits and vegetables aren't already pre-prepared -prepar for me. My husband, like I said, had went to Costco, so we were just filled up with fruit and it was absolutely so wonderful. So I like to just take some time and get everything ready. I'll wash up the grapes, I'll wash the strawberries, and I will get them ready for the week ahead. I like to go ahead and pull all of the grapes off of the stem. This makes it really easy during the week to uh, just throw grapes into a sandwich bag or a container for my husband or my daughter as they go off to school and work. And it also allows me to kind of go through the fruit and pick out anything that isn't good, that has already gone bad. And next up is the strawberries. So I give them a really good wash and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut them up. One thing that I really love to do to keep my strawberries fresh is to prepare them right away. And one of those things is to wash them and then to cut them up. And what I'm gonna share with you here in the next clip will be um, what I do to even keep them fresher. So I like to add a bit of sweetener. This is a Trim Healthy Mama sweetener called Gentle Sweet. We're really trying to do away with sugar in our home. And then I like to kind of just muddle them a bit. My mom used to do this when I was a kid and it brings out so much sweetness from the berries. And throughout the week they'll get a little bit more juicy and they're absolutely delicious. I have a hard time eating strawberries any other way. Next, it's time to go through the fridge and get it organized. Boy, my fridge was a hot mess. And just taking a few minutes out of my day to kind of get everything situated to clear out any food that was expiring um, really made such a difference in our refrigerator and for the ease of the upcoming week. I knew where everything was and all that we had in our fridge. So next I am putting all of the lettuce into this produce bag. Um, I like to pre-chop my lettuce and earlier in the week I had done that but I hadn't yet put it into a bag. So I just put it in one of these produce bags, add a paper towel to kind of seal up the moisture and press the bag firm to get all of the air out. 
This here is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. This is called Lazy Lasagna, and it's a noodle-less lasagna, and it is so good. My husband and I just love it. So as you can see, there's only two slices left. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting some in a container for myself and one for my husband for Monday's lunches. I will use the plastic container and give him the glass one so that he can microwave that at work. We don't have a microwave at home, so I will just reheat mine on the stove. If you're interested in this recipe, let me know in the comments below and I will make it for you guys sometime. So with those containers back in the fridge, this is what it looks like. So much better. It's important for me to have all of my linens washed for the upcoming week. So here I am just putting hand towels and washcloths away. I really like to use these white bar mop cloths. You can get them at Target or Walmart, any kind of big box store. They are great for hand washing dishes. Then it's time to vacuum. We don't have many rugs in our home, but our entranceway always is notorious for getting sand and dirt tracked in. So I like to kind of vacuum that up and get the entranceway ready for the week. We are, you know, in and out, in and out, and it's important to me that it's just all ready to go. If you know me, you know I love to decorate, and this particular weekend I had found some cotton stems at my local home goods, which is just like home scents, and I was so anxious to get them put into a vase. So these were actually quite long, and my plan had been to cut them down and stick them in the vase. So. That was what I did. On the weekends, I do try and do some decor projects and just make my home pretty and beautiful. It's something fun to look at through the upcoming week and it just makes my heart happy. And mama, when mama's happy, everybody is happy. So I'm going to cut them all down and put them inside of this vase. And so here they are on my dining room table. I love how they turned out. They look a little bit kind of wonky and wild and that's just a-okay with me. I'm just happy to finally have some cotton stems in my home. And you can kind of see on the side, I did um, purchase a cotton bud wreath and I'm so super duper excited to find a spot to put that in my home as well. So this is what things look like at the end of the evening. Toys are everywhere, laundry needs to be folded, and the living room really needs to be picked up. Here's our dog. She is pregnant with 11 puppies in this clip. She has since had those little babies just the other day. And you can see that video. I'll link it um, above. So here I am just getting everything picked up. Usually my kids are the ones who pick up all of the toys, but when it comes to Sunday evenings, we try and make sure that they are in bed a bit earlier. Um, sometimes they stay up a bit later on the weekends, and it's important to me that they try and go to bed early on Sunday night so they can wake up refreshed for a Monday. After a long day, mama is tired and it is time for me to take care of myself. So I like to put on a face mask and then I like to get a hot shower, sometimes even a bath. I'll use like a lush bath bomb and it is so luxurious at the end of the day. I like to really deeply moisturize my skin, especially after coming out from a hot shower. It feels so fresh and clean after the face mask that um, I am just loving my skin. Sunday nights always equal popcorn. My mom always made popcorn on Sunday evenings and so I carry on that tradition myself. We make it right on the stove and we make a huge bowl. I usually try to stick a couple bags aside for my kiddos for lunch the next day and we have this huge bowl and my husband and I don't eat all of it but I always make a ton. And this is my laundry. So. I either plan on Sunday nights or I do laundry depending on what the weekend looks like and I had a lot of laundry to do so I put on a show I'm currently watching Heartland and it is such a feel-good show and that is about my weekend thank you so much for watching guys